This is the grade eight math practice test for TN. Ready? Question currently number 27. Uh, this is a bit of a thanks I hate it question just because I just don't like the wording. It's me being picky. The table represents a proportional relationship. Which graph represents a proportional relationship with the same unit rate as the table? Now they've given us some information here. They've said that the table has a unit rate, which is to say that the change is constant, which dot 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 is linear. Sometimes we could refer to this as slope, whatever. It's neither here nor there. So what we're going to look at is the change in y, or sorry, just the y over the x for each one. We want to take a look at how that moves around. So if I was going to look at the relationship between 4 and 1, I'd create a, a ratio of 4 to 1, and I'd say, okay, that's 4. If I were to do 6 divided by 1.5, well, then that's also 4. If I do 8 divided by 2, 4. And if I do 10 divided by 2.5, it's 4. Incidentally enough, these sorts of things are easy for me to see just because I have thought about them forever. But if you think about it, this 1.5 is kind of like 15, which makes the 60 kind of like, or the 6 kind of like 60. So if I made this into... 15, and I made this into 60, which it's just multiplying by 10, so the values are relatively the same. Um, I know that 15 minute increments on a clock, four of them would give me 60, so that's how I could figure this out. Similarly, if I had $10 and I needed to break it out into groups of two and a half dollars each, like that, uh, there's four of them. So I know that there is a unit rate here of four for each one. So what I'm looking for is essentially, is there a slope that gives me four? It's easier if you just pick the points that cross right on the grid. That'll make your life a little better. So for this one, um, the Y value is 2, and the X value is 8. So 2, 8. Uh, no, that's, that's not, not great. Um, for this one, I have a point right here. I think, around about. No, eh, it's not close. Let's find one that matches exactly. Here's one that crosses exactly. See, this is a little below. So, four, uh, so my variable here, or my y term here is eight, and my x is four, so that's two. Eh. For this one, it crosses right here, so one over two, nope. And this one crosses like right around in here. So my y is 8, and my x is 2. Ding, ding, ding. So what I hate about this is they used the idea of a proportional relationship and then the same unit rate. If they were really asking about, well, you know, what has a similar slope, then I could do it relatively easily because then I could just look at a change in y. If they'd said this is linear... I'm going to do this point and this point, by the way. The change in y values here, because slope is this, change in y over change in x, and then 2 minus 1, this would be 4 over 1, or just 4. So I'd be looking for a slope of 4, but the vocabulary is interchangeable, so the, I don't, the part I don't like is simply that they could have used a simpler vocabulary, but they're sort of stretching this problem in so it meets a standard, which I never particularly like, but I understand why they do it, and the question is not super difficult. So anytime you see a proportional relationship, what you're looking for is to see, incidentally, if I have this set up, 6 times 1 is 6, and 4 times 1.5 is, well, half of 4 is 2, and 2 plus 4 is 6, so that does work. So it does, in fact, create a proportional relationship. Any linear, any, if you have sets of points in any linear equation, they should uh, give you some sort of a similar proportion. But just know that you could have applied slope rationale to this and got the same answer, but knowing the vocabulary is also important because sometimes they have to pick, question, pick from a group of questions that are already pre-made that don't exactly touch on the standard. So instead of coming up with new questions, which is what you would expect a, a company to do, they use some of the old questions and change some of the words. I'm somewhat okay with it, but not super okay with it, but that's how life is.